Okay, so this is a the big card story, the interactive read aloud about uh, explore a coral reef. So I'm going to read that to you and try to get the glare off the picture. Okay, what are the features of a coral reef habitat? What plants and animals live there? Coral reefs are busy underwater places where many colorful animals and plants live. Some people think coral reefs are made of rocks or shells, but that's not so. Coral reefs are actually made up of tiny living creatures called coral polyps. These animals are only about a quarter inch across. It takes millions of coral polyps to make one reef. Different polyps form different kinds of coral. Coral can be many different colors. It can be interesting shapes and sizes too. Coral reefs are located in warm, shallow water, usually near land. The biggest coral reef in the world is Australia's Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is about 1,260 miles long. So what are coral reefs? Tiny living, it's a, a, a group of tiny living creatures called coral polyps. Um, what does coral look like? It kind of looks like rocks or shells or sometimes, I don't know, tubes, um, all kinds of different shapes and sizes. So they're all, they're all very different and very colorful. So, all right, number two. Can you see that? Imagine you are swimming near a coral reef. What animals might you encounter or come across or see? First, you'd see the brightly colored coral. What's coral made of? Coral polyps. So that's one animal you'd see. There are many more living animals living in the coral reef though. Most fish around the coral reef have bright colors and patterns. Mandarin fish have colorful stripes and patterns to warn bigger fish to stay away. If you see a butterfly fish, you might think it has eyes on its head and its tail. Lionfish have spines to defend themselves against predators. Lobsters, shrimp, and crabs live in the reefs too. Don't be fooled by the sea anemones. They look like flowers, but they're not. Then there's the giant clam. It can grow up to four feet wide and can weigh 500 pounds. Be careful though, you might encounter sharks or barracudas that are hunting for food near the reefs. And don't stick your hand into a hole in the reef. A moray eel may be living in it. So what are some animals that live around the coral reef? Mm -hmm. Lobster, shrimp, crabs, sharks, barracudas, butterfly fish, mandarin fish, butterfly fish, lionfish. Good. Many, many, many colorful fish. Um, okay, number three. Third card. Hope you can see this. The coral reef food web. How do the animals that live near a coral reef survive? Like you and me and all other living things, they need food. What do they eat? They eat each other. The food web shows what the animals eat. Tiny plants and animals called plankton are food for many of the small animals such as coral polyps. The parrotfish, pufferfish, and other small fish eat coral polyps. The big animals eat the small animals. Some of the biggest animals, such as sharks and barracudas, will eat big animals, too. The arrows on the food web point to what the animals eat. Let's follow the arrow for the moray eel. We see that it eats parrotfish. Then the parrotfish eats coral polyps, and they eat plankton. This part of the food web is called a food chain. A food web is made up of many food chains. As you can see, not all animals have the same taste in food. Can you name the animals in the food chain of the barracuda? It's important that all the animals in the food web survive. What happens if one part of the food web disappears? All the other parts of the web react. It's a chain reaction. If there are no tiny plants and animals, the coral polyps won't have food to eat. If the coral polyps disappear, what will the small animals eat? That's why it's important to protect all the plants and animals in the food web. So the food web, what is that? It's all the different foods that the animals eat in uh, in this particular one, the coral reef. And they're all important because if one doesn't have one thing, it's like a chain reaction, and the, then the other one doesn't have what it needs, and then that one doesn't have what it needs, and soon they could die out. Okay, card four, it's the last one. It takes a very long time for a coral reef to grow. That's because
because a coral reef grows only about one inch per year. Think of how many years it took for the Great Barrier Reef to form. But today, coral reefs are endangered. Parts of many coral reefs have already been destroyed. Scientists think that many of the coral reefs will completely disappear. That's because some people are not careful. They may step on or touch the coral, which can kill it. Many people take pieces of coral home or fish for animals that live there. All these things can damage the coral reef and interrupt the food web. People also pollute the oceans with garbage. Pollution can kill coral reefs. What positive steps can you take to help protect coral reefs? Spread the word, don't pollute. Suggest that people stop dumping garbage that can damage the reefs. Tell people to look but not to touch when they explore the beautiful coral reef. With everyone's help, coral reefs can survive. So why are they in danger? We have people. We put garbage in there, we touch them, they break pieces of the coral off. It just, all of that can interrupt that food chain, damage the whole coral reef. Um, but what can we do to help? Yeah, take, you know, properly dispose of garbage. Don't let it go in the ocean. Uh, don't take the coral and so forth. Don't even touch it because even touching it can disturb it and destroy it. So we want to take positive steps to support the coral reef and help it to grow. Isn't God's creation amazing and beautiful? To think about how he designed and made the coral reef habitat for all these different animals to live and grow. It's amazing. It's so cool. God's, God's creation is just fascinating. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.